Welcome to part B of the, the first lesson, where we're going to be looking at how to identify a good exemplar article. So the goal here is to find a suitable exemplar article for you to work with for the rest of this course. And this is based on the textbook, the first chapter. So you may wonder, why are we beginning with research articles? Because they're really hard to read. But there are a number of good reasons for it. The first is that you learn to read more effectively. No matter what you do in, in engineering, you're going to need to learn to read research articles. Whether it's in order to do research in a, uh, a school, or whether it's to, to work in a factory, in an industry, you need to read the, the latest research. And so if you can read effectively, that will help you. The second is that research articles are complete arguments, but they're part of an ongoing research effort. And that's just like engineering, because what you do in developing a certain product, a certain design, is complete in that, but it's part of an ongoing effort as well. And then third, there are many different types of writing. You may write technical reports or grant proposals or other things at some point. We talk about those in, in later parts of the textbook, but all of them are related to the structure of a research article. So if you understand that structure, then you can understand how the others differ and you'll be able to write anything you want. And finally, research articles are readily available. That's not true for many of the other genres, which may be uh, protected by, by a company or very hard to, to get. So we're going to start with something that we know you can get. Now, we're going to look at standard research articles, not conference papers, not survey articles, not brief letters or, or brief articles, and not popular science. And I'm going to have my TAs explain what each of those are. It's time to to know about the conference paper. Conference paper are uh, written several months before the conference, so uh, usually releases are not complete. As well, conference paper are not review or revised, so uh, the quality may be not consistent. So if you want to recognize the conference paper, you can looking forward like uh, uh, conference, symposiums, uh, proceeding, or workshop. Actually, they will show up on the somewhere uh, in the first page of the article. And this one is another example. And another way to uh, recognize it, you can see the conference paper, they may have fewer reference than the journal article in the same field. And what if it has no header? It is most likely a conference paper, but if you want to make sure, you can use Google Scholar to check it out. Okay, we have some uh, few steps. The first, you need to copy the title of the article and then put it in the search box of the Google Scholar and then click on quotation mark. And a lot of information they will show up. So you just uh, look for what, right? Conference, proceeding, symposium, or workshop. Let me show you how the Google Scholar works. So this, for this example, I just put the one of my examples uh, in the, the search of Google Scholar, and then we will get this screen. So uh, this is really clear that the, this article is come from a conference. But if nothing show here, you can click on the quotation mark, this one, and then a lot of the different format of reference it will show up here. So all of them uh, indicate are the same result that this article uh, come from the same conference. And uh, for this, uh, for information about reference, we will not talk uh, right now. So if you find more information, you can uh, go to the textbook uh, in chapter 25. Let's talk about survey article. Review or survey article is good starting play to find out what has been done in a few and future direction. But they are summarized of many articles rather than detail on one. And so they have a different structure. This is an example on survey article in electrical engineering. And sometimes you can find the desired in the header at the top of the page. 
Also, we don't want to look at anything called a short or brief articles, correspondence, or letters because these are published quickly. Again, without full description or careful review. This is an example of a letter in a CE journal, as illustrated by the header. And sometimes the whole journal is devoted to letters. The last type of article that we don't want to work with is popular science articles. And you can recognize these very easily because of the colored graphics or print. For instance, here's an article that I wrote for a science teacher magazine a number of years ago. If you look at it, you can see that it has a very different appearance than a, a standard research article with, with color and, and, and graphics. Okay, now again, in the textbook, I talk about all of these different types of writing, uh, including undergraduate writing, various types of graduate writing, academic writing, technical writing. All of these are predictable modifications of what you're going to learn in this course. So after you learn how to read a research article, you'll be able to write any of these things that you want to write. This is an example article from chemical engineering. More specifically, it's from materials and designing research area. As we can see in the graph abstract, the design material will be applied on testing batteries. And it is an open access open access article. So we will show portions of the articles to illustrate how to find different components in the further lessons. This is the research article from mechanical engineering. The topic is finite time switch second order sliding mode control of non holomic view mobile robot system. So the title is quite long and complex, but you don't think like that. Uh, this this article is quite interesting because they use the really uh, useful control technique. And if you see the published date, yeah, it just published on the 2018. So maybe you can update your technology of control by this one. And as well, this article is also open access journal. This article from IEEE translation on computer at design of integrated circuits and system. And this is the main uh, journal in my field, so we use this for assembler of electrical engineering. And because there are a few often accept article in this journal, we have to show less than less article to avoid the problem of copyright. Okay, so now your homework is to find a suitable exemplar article in your field. Remember, no conference papers, no symposium papers, no review or, or survey articles, no brief articles, letters, popular science, but a standard research article. And you're also going to get, need to get this textbook in order to, to find more details than we can give you in, in the very short time that we have in this, uh, in this course. Mm -hmm.